So today we're going to learn how to use Google Keep um, using this document Asian Racism article that will be tied into our flipped classroom. So the uh, instruction said that we need to annotate the section of the article. We want to do about three minimum and then students will end up answering these questions at the end. But how to use Google Keep? Well, there's a couple different ways to use it. The first is to type Google Keep and then you can click to use it. And a couple ways that you would set up is to take a note. So let's say, to start off with what I usually have my students do is say, what is your favorite animal? So uh, the title is, you know, my favorite animal is the sea otter. Uh, and then you can have a title, which is favorite animal. Again, very basics what I have my students do in case they haven't used it. If you notice, one of these will pop up. We'll delete this one since we don't have a need of it right now. Um, when we click it again, there's a couple different options. You can choose it to different colors if you like, depending on the notes. Uh, then we can archive it. We can add a collaborator or a reminder. And we can also add an image. So if I were to go here, let's first, I know in my, go through the trash. I know I have a uh, one that I was using earlier, so we can just put that one. But then you can add it, copy and paste an image however you would, and you can just drop it in there. Move this back and got it. Perfect. And we can hit close. And now we have a little note that we can add. And of course, we can add a lot more information, especially for reading graphic novels or anything else. And this can be a collection of notes that the students have. And they can use different colors to identify different parts. But our question is as we're reading this article, how can Google Keep help us to interact? Uh, and the way that we would do that, let's say, um, ever since we will read part of it, ever since the first Asian uh, As or Asians arrived in America, there's been anti-Asian racism. It includes prejudice and acts of discrimination. More than 200 years, Americans have been denied equal rights, subject to harassment, hostility, revites, revokes, and imprisoned for no reason, physically intact, and murdered. So what if a student decided to annotate on this? And so what they could do is they click over here, there's Google Keep, and you click Keep. Um, and you can do a couple things. One, you can add your note in here, or you can take a brand new note. So let's say I highlight this and I click Take Note, and I can take a note, and I'll title this as, uh, let's say with the uh, acts of discrimination. And so my comment would be, uh, reading this really upsets me because... I think that this country should stand for more, but when we read through history, we find so many horrible acts. All right, so let's say that's, and we can click a couple different things. So that's what we can do. We can click done. Boom. And then, of course, what we can do is we can pin this note. And if we go back, there's our note right there. And I didn't finish. Oops. Discrimination. And then we can add a picture to it or a collaborator. But if I wanted to, um, so there's our note right there. And we can, of course, we don't need that one. Um, but there, this is how we can take some notes. So when that way we share this document uh, and we decide to turn in this document. Oops. As a teacher, when I click, I'll be able to see the ones that are related. I won't be able to see these ones, but when the student turns it in, I'll see what this note is about. And students could, of course, then take it to another level, which is they can go through and add a picture. So let's just say discrimination. Images. And we can take a simple graphic for right now, which I think is when we can control and we can just copy this image. We can do our Google Keep right here and we can add image. Oops, looks like we, oh, and let's see if we hit control paste. There it is. We just pasted that image using control V. Close. So now we have an, a graphic to go with our notes and it'll be on Google Keep. When a student turns this in and the teacher selects the Keep option, I'll be able to go through and find some of the notes they've taken uh, and where the and they can where they were able to reference it to. Okay, so that is how we use 
uh, Google Keep to keep track of notes for students and how uh, teachers can then, once these are turned in, they can check their notes. Um, so that way it's easier for students not only to keep track of what they wrote, but to add some graphics as well. Um, and thank you so much for watching the Google Keep presentation.